Today's video is going to be on my top five personal favorite vetivers. Yes! Now, the reason why I wanted to shoot this video, uh, I got to thinking, you know, like me in the past, most of you know uh, that I'm a vetiver nut. I like my vetiver fragrances, and for quite some time, uh, I was on a mission to check out uh, all of them, as many as I could get my nose on. Just love vetiver fragrances. So, uh, over the past few years, I have done that, and uh, there's about five of them that I really, really love. I just wanted to keep my vetivers down to five, not go crazy with like ten. <laughs> of course, there are lots of great vetivers out there, but to me, these five that I'm about to mention are my cream of the crop, and I wanted to shoot this video in case there was someone like me out there uh, wanting to know what direction uh, to look at if you're just getting in to vetivers uh, and these are five these five are my personal favorites so I think that these ones are excellent ones to look into of course there's a whole sea of them out there uh, to check out and I know when I was first starting out uh, you know talking back messaging people about fragrances and uh, everyone telling me check this out check that out check it just seemed like there was oh just an ungodly amount of vetivers I was uh, it's gonna take me forever to get my nose on well after going through a bunch of them. Uh, I have found five that I really love and uh, to start this off my first one now as my lists always go these are in no order <laughs> these are like my children you know uh, I love them all the same just in different ways I can't choose a favorite between them uh, these are all rock stars to me and the first one I'm gonna be talking about is sell the vetiver by the different company this is one that I like to call my seaside vetiver. The vetiver in here uh, is more on the greener side of the tracks. Not very dirty. Uh, it has a beautiful sea salt note going through here and some freshness from geranium. Now this is one of those vetivers that I think uh, are very friendly and could be worn every day and I think would be uh, even appealing to people that aren't uh, into like the heavy, dirty, earthy kind of vetivers this would be one to check out for sure beautiful fragrance now moving on to number four I have got Montal's red vetiver I'm sure that most of you know that red vetiver was in my top 10 personal favorite fragrances so of course it's gonna be in my top five personal favorite vetivers and for those of you that are familiar with Terre d'Hermes uh, red vetiver is very much like that except for done just a little bit better projection and longevity is better and the overall smell to me is a little bit more natural just a beautiful blend of vetiver more on the greener mineral side of the tracks uh, and pepper and cedar wood gorgeous stuff absolutely love it now moving on to number three I am going to be talking about Sycamore by Chanel don't you just love my voice? Got a little bit of a bug, and now it seems like I'm about to lose my voice. But the show must go on. Now, uh, Sycamore, as most of you probably know, is one of the vetivers sent from the gods. My god, if you are a vetiver nut, or just getting into vetivers, you better get your nose on Sycamore, because I'm telling you, it is fantastic juice, and those people out there <laughs> that tell you, Jeremiah, that Ancre Noir is better than Sycamore, don't listen to them because they're freaking crackheads. <laughs> no idea what they're talking about. I'm telling you, Sycamore is much more refined. Ancre Noir has a very cloudy, dense feel to it like it's an unfinished product. Sycamore is definitely a finished product. Beautiful through and through. And what you have is a very, um, it's a green vetiver but yet it also has an earthy dirtiness to it as well. This one is rugged. This one I picture like Clint Eastwood back in the old westerns. I picture him wearing sycamore. <laughs> and sycamore, you also get a touch of aldehydes and a touch of pepper and the sandalwood in this. It's not very loud. So you're looking at the notes, you're looking at Fragrantica, you see a lot of people voting on sandalwood. Yeah, it's definitely there. If it was not there in this fragrance, it would not be the same, uh, but it's not like a heavy dose of it. Uh, just a nice softening touch added 
to that rugged, earthy, dirty green vetiver. That's going on. <clears throat> and it's just, it is. It is the vetiver fragrance from the gods. Beautiful stuff. Through and through. Can't say enough. Now, moving on to number two. Uh, I have got Vetiver Extraordinaire by Editions de Parfums, Frederick Mall. Holy smokes, you want to talk about green? You want to talk about natural? Look no further than Vetiver Extraordinaire uh, from Frederick Mall. My God. Oh, just. I can't even begin to tell you how awesome this juice is. This is one of those vetivers that I believe could be worn every day as a signature scent. More on the friendly side of the tracks. And man, funny thing with me, uh, I've got this thing with me in the summertime when I mow the lawn. I love to wear vetiver extraordinary. Man, just the, the smell of the fresh cut grass with that smell of that natural green vetiver going on around my neck. Oh, it's just a die for. Makes me love mowing the lawn. <laughs> Man, and in my review of Vetiver Extraordinaire, uh, I think I might have said that I was getting like six hours longevity out of it or something like that, but it's something, I don't know what the hell was going on with me back then. I don't know what kind of crack I was smoking, because man, uh, it's just another Vetiver for me that lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. I have no idea what was going on with me back then. Uh, but, yeah, who knows, but Vetiver Extraordinaire, definitely, definitely want to sample. Cream of the crop, top of his class, for sure. Now, uh, my final one, of course, everybody is going to know, uh, Vetiver Tonka by Hermes. Well, this fragrance is something else, man. You want to mix a vetiver with a slight touch of a gourmand feel to it. Creamy hazelnuts sitting over vetiver and just friggin' brilliantly done. I cannot say that enough. I mean, you come across a fragrance that's very close to this, Viaggio de Africa, and you can tell, like, when you're doing side-by-sides, that's what I love about doing uh, side-by-sides with fragrances that are close like that, because you can really tell the quality uh, behind the structure of Vetiver Tonka compared to Viaggio de Africa. Even though Viaggio de Africa is killer, great juice. I mean, for 50 bucks, even if it was 100 bucks, it'd be great juice. But boy, man, uh, when you smell Vetiver Tonka next to that one, quality through and through. Can't mess with Jean Claude Elena. Well, except for Terry Hermes. <laughs> I seem to pick on that one now. That red vetiver has come along. I'm sorry, man. It is what it is. <laughs> Can't get them all right, I guess, but Terre Hermes really is a killer fragrance uh, as well. So, in case you're watching this, JC, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Better for Tonka rules, though, buddy. Uh, so does the rest of the Hermes and Slime. Love the stuff. But back to the Vetivers. Uh, yeah, those are my five, and there are plenty, plenty of Vetivers out there. There could be lots of honorable mentions. Uh, El uh, Eldos, Fat Electrician. Uh, Vetiviro by Diptyque, uh, Vetiver by Etro. I have to tell you though, some people might not like this comment, um, but out of all the Vetivers that I have tried, I have to say that Guerlain's Vetiver is my least favorite. That one comes off with a very dated feel to it and is not very, uh, not very appealing to me. I know there's lots of fans of it out there, uh, but for me, if you got the same taste as I have, I would just skip that one. Now, uh, there's going to be a video I'm going to have coming up called My Elevens because I just did my top 10 personal favorite video and there are lots of fragrances that are just hanging on there right at the edge and on any other given day might have made it into that top 10 list. So I'm going to call them My Elevens and there's going to be a bunch of them. <laughs> and these vetivers here, uh, except for red vetiver because that made it, our 11s they are so close that's how much how highly I think of these fragrances of these vetivers beautiful stuff to me and uh, after all of them I've sniffed uh, these to me are the cream of the crop so I highly recommend checking these out if you're getting into vetivers for sure but that's it I hope you found this video helpful and as always you guys take care and we'll see you soon